I'm assuming that you have your pattern cloud all set up so that you can send designs over to the Elevate via your iCloud, which is the only way that I'm aware of that you can get patterns down to the Elevate. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to import your image that you had out on Facebook. Notice that it comes in as a width of 13.81 by 13.87. That's the size of the image that is coming in, and we can change the size of the pattern when we're done. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to do a draw line. You select that with your left mouse button. You heard the click, at least on mine. And it comes with the crosshairs. And I'm going to go to the corner here, and up to the next one. And I am left mouse clicking at each one of these points. And then you right mouse click to end it or connect it. And then right mouse click again or hit the escape key. And what we have when we left mouse click on, click on that area is we essentially have a block that outlines what your quilt is. Now we can set up designs in here based off of a boundary, and that's how the Elevate works. You set up a boundary, and you can either stitch the boundary and then add a pattern, or you have the boundary on the Elevate, and you in insert a design. So what we're going to do here to interview different designs on your quilt block over here we're going to right click and we're going to convert this to a batter, boundary, excuse me. And then what we're going to do is we are going to select a different design over here. We're going to try the whirly gig. So you select it first, you go up to pattern boundary, and it will do its best, just like on the elevate to take a pattern and place it within that boundary. Now, one of the things that you can do because of because it's set to the size of your image is you can interview these patterns right over here. Okay? So, if we we can also move this boundary So we can interview that one, and then we can put it to the side. If we want to interview a different pattern, say this one over here, pattern to boundary, and it just sticks it right in the middle. So one of the cool things about Creative Studio, at least in my opinion, is that we can take this design and we can make it bigger, anything we want to. Now, just like on the Elevate, if you go over the boundary, he doesn't really care, okay? He's still going to stitch. And if you had a Statler, you could do this on the Statler. But on the Elevate, you have to do an extra step. So say I wanted this particular design, but I don't want to go all the way outside of the boundary. You can right-click and say fill inside and what that does is it takes and he does his best job of doing this continuous but he creates this new pattern from the original which is the SCF-12 and we can also interview this one okay this one is going to actually look pretty good in there if I mean if you like it of, of course um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this one and hit the X and we're going to start stitching okay and 
this is just obviously a simulation. So you can see the path that it's going to take. But it rides right along that boundary because we've created this as a new pattern. So say you liked this pattern that you created from your boundary. You can right click, save the pattern. I would save it as something else besides the bear paw. Maybe put hex in front of it. And I might put hex in front of my, as part of my tag. And you can have your own collection if that's what you choose. But it gets added to the ones that are there. Save and close. Goes into your database and into the project itself. And then once you get over into your patterns, this is our new one. So you notice the hex. You can right click and then sync back up to cloud. And that will send that one pattern up to the cloud. And when you sync your elevate to your cloud, that one pattern will come down with all the tags. And then when you set your boundary on the elevate, very similar to what we did here, and then you select this pattern, it should essentially <laughs> bind just to your, to your boundary. I hope this helps. Thank you.